Grace. Yep, I told my. Yep, I told him I would come through and talk to you. Uh -huh. Whenever I had time. Yes. Yep. So it's good to see you. Same to you, sir. So how are you feeling? I feel fine. You feel fine? Yeah, well, I'm glad to be, you know, part of this team to come to make a difference in somebody's lives to say hi to them. Good. Just to make them laugh and make them smile and let them know that we care about them here in Delaware. You don't think about it. I forgot to take your lip, my wife. See that That's okay. You had that letter a long time. She yeah. paid to see it. Yeah. You'll show it to her. I don't the house a lot of times. Right. But if you ever go home and if you ever need somebody like me to come take you for a ride or whatever, uh -huh. I'll be there for you. Earl willing to volunteer. I got over 3,000 hours of volunteering here. Good. And I will be there to do whatever I can do for you. Uh, you're welcome. Mr. Wilson, you're ready to get his... Oh, he got good dinner. Look at it. Good dinner. They feed you good around here, Mr. Wilson. Yeah, they do. Yeah, we, we take good through here in the Women's Hospital. They do pretty good. Yes, sir. Well, that's a good thing about Harriet Tubman going to be on the $20 bill. Did you hear about it? About time, yeah. Yeah, about time. But they picked the right one. Earl Woodland, the volunteer. He will go anywhere that Wilmington Hospital wanted to. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Name of my organization. So, you know, that made my day when I heard that. You got that right. Yep, because they call me when they want me to come say hi to people because they know Harriet Tubman. She helped people. And I'm Mr. Tubman. Earl Woodland, Earl Wallace Woodland Jr., he helps people. Her thing is real old. Yeah. But King, he he will be, make it one day. Yeah. Yep. Students returned to a Wilmington school this morning, a day after their classmate was killed. Counselors were on hand at Howard High School of Technology. Yeah, I was talking to my mom and letting her know how I met a, a, a man at the Wilmington Hospital. The story was similar to our story, how he left North Carolina. Married his school, his um, school lover, and uh, went to New York, and then his friends ended up up there too. I let her know how you know our family came from Virginia and ended up in Delaware, and the University of Delaware helped us. How it was similar stories, and then his friends ended up up there too that he went to school with, so that made their own little family up there in New York. In the Winfield Heights sections of Philadelphia, police are asking yep. for the public's help to find a would-be rapist. Were you missing the something? Show the 19-year-old victim fighting. You miss, I see you looking for something. No. It happened early uh. Wednesday morning on the 1300 block of Wharton Street in South Philadelphia. <coughs> they say the suspect approached the 19-year-old victim from behind and forced her to the ground. She managed to. You got a good appetite too. Well, that's about it. That's about it. Yeah, whenever I got some free time, I'll come by and say hi to my brother. Yep, been doing this over two weeks or so all around. Just come around doing what I can do to make a difference in people's lives. All lives matter. That's my that's my motto. All lives matter. Shapiro represents the next generation of progressive leadership. Democrat Josh Shapiro, an attorney general for us. Residents in one Texas town couldn't believe their eyes when they saw a tiger roaming the streets. The four to five month old female was spotted yesterday in Cairo. Animal control officers managed to track her down and capture her. They say she had a collar. When the last time you've been back to North Carolina? Oh. August. August. Okay. Last year. Last year. Uh huh. Had to go to a funeral. Binding, but countries must update them every five years. The U.S. and China, which together account for nearly 83. 83. Yeah. She was 83. Yeah. Okay. She was younger than me. She was younger than you. Yeah. Was she a church lady? Yeah, she was buried. Bar okay. Officials fined Stewart $35,000 for questioning NASCAR's commitment to safety. She was very young. Very young. Stewart isn't the only one with doubts. Just as Tony Stewart is announcing his comeback from an off-track injury, he's already causing a blowout among race fans and officials. It should be outperforming the other teams, not not jeopardizing drivers' lives. Yeah. A task over a new they talk about maybe some rain this afternoon. 
tires with one or more of their lug nuts missing. I didn't hear nothing. You didn't hear nothing? Okay. Let me listen to you the whole morning. It's really the no rain. No, you hear no rain? Okay. Well, right now it's, it's, it's raining down south. It's raining south? Yes. Okay. In 2014, an alleged confrontation have, uh, with a fellow dirt track racer led to Stewart's car in his home. killing Wait, where's Kevin Wood Jr. The crash ruled an accident it's and Stewart was never charged with a lot of rain down there. A lot of rain. Yes. Yeah, I know a lot about Durham. They got a drug program down there yeah. called Trosa that I send people to. Uh -huh. It's a two-year free drug program. Yeah. Anybody from all over the world is there. Over 500 people there programming. It's a good program. It's free. Maybe that's why my brother went there. He wasn't in no drug program, was he? Yeah. He was? When the doctor he went there. He said, I'm really sorry, but I'm not going to down there. His girlfriend, stage four they you take me down there? I said, I'll take him, take him down there. You take him? And that's when Fox Chase called and said they had a clinical. So, that, so that's how I went back in the day down in there. If, 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 if the white man like you, he even paid for you to go to, go, go to New York, you said, right? Yeah, he paid me to go to New York. Go to New York. So you start your life. He wasn't trying to hold you back. No. He was trying to help you. And when your brother died, he paid for your brother's funeral. Yeah. Well, he must really like your brother. Well, I said, this, really this, this, this guy was don't look into me. better than, I think it's the makeover of more likable than, than, than the man I was working for. Than the man you was working for. Yeah. Now, what kind of work did your brother do? He was in a drugstore. Drugstore. Oh, so that man liked him because he stayed in that drugstore and put a lot of hours in. And put a lot of hours in. Plus, he, he, he's the only one that handled that money. Oh, he trusted him. Yeah. Oh, he was trustworthy, huh? Yeah. So he handled that money. He handled that money. And when he died, he paid for everything. He paid for everything. And showed up at the funeral. Yeah. Good man. <laughs> my, my, my. Down there, down where? Down there in Walter. In Walter. Oh. My sister lived. My brother lived right here. Uh huh. My house is right here. Uh huh. Across the street with my sister. So y'all stay close together. All the, uh, close oh, yeah. That's good. So y'all real family. Yeah, real family. Plus, on the top of that, on top of that, he took care of my house. Is to raise their hand when you was gone. When I was gone. Not a one. One guy to lose right there. All right. All right. That's yeah. that. Two. How old are you? 22. Give it 20 more years, you won't have a problem. <laughs> so you, was, was you a salesman? Huh? Were you a salesman? No, I was, I was a clerk. A clerk at the store. I'm talking about the front of the store. At the store for your, your man so close. No, but I, I, I sold clothes, but I wasn't a salesman. Oh. Oh. Okay. Because you're going on a culinary adventure. You up for this? Yes. I clean the, clean the store. Oh, okay. You like me? Always. I do everything. Always kept a broom when I, when, whenever I worked a job. I, I like. I'm a cleaner too. Yeah. I like cleaning. Yeah. That, that's that's my card there. It says Hard Times Earl Jr. Um. It, hard Times Earl Jr. Um. Jack of all, master. What do you need done? Auto sale. General service, real estate, counselor. On the other side, it says, Harriet Tubman Safe House, free one and two year drug program. Go out into the jungles and buy ways and help people. I'm looking for street walkers, drug addicts, re entry program. I am a bounty hunter. I'm looking to save you. That's what I do. Been doing that for a long time, sir. I'm glad, glad to hear somebody did something. Yes. Well, this is a predicament. Home style sounds good, but country style not without its charms. Brown sugar hickory. Who says no, no to hickory? No, about it now. Simple serve vegetarian. I don't do sure. nothing no more. Huh? I don't think about it now. I don't do nothing no more. Well, that's good. You done did what you had to do. I retired. You retired. You got to sit back in the chair. You know, almost 12 years. Over 12 years. Yes. You just got to sit back in the chair and wait on the check. That's right. Yes. You put in your time. You don't owe the world nothing. 
No, sir. Nothing. Well, sir, I'm going to get ready to get out of here for the day. And if you're still around, I'll come back and see you next week. If, if you're still around, hopefully they're going to let you out of here. What's that? I'm hoping I'm not here. I'm hoping you're not here, too, for you. For your sake, I'm hoping that they relieve you and let you go home. Now, now, what do you think about the women in hospital? How good did we treat? Did we treat you good here? Well, women in hospital, the first one. Christiana. Christiana. Right. They, they, they did all right. They did all right. Yeah. But these people here feed you better. They feed you better. They feed you better. And what's your name? Wilson. Wilson. And you from where? Walsall, North Carolina. Walsall, North Carolina. You ended up in New York and made it back to Delaware. Made it back what to I Delaware. Say, gonna okay. What? <laughs> yeah. I will be coming through. Hi. Yeah, so everything is working out, huh? Yes, right. You heard any good news yet? No, 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 no good news. No good news? No. Well, you got to be going home any day now. Well, I'm looking at that sign. Uh huh. Said, I forget what that sign says. Oh, uh, where? Well, that don't have nothing to do with you going home, that sign there. No, 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 no. Oh, but it was a sign somewhere? This, this, this guy, they... Mm. Uh, they got a discharge date? They got a discharge date. Oh, uh, okay. So they might gonna let you go sooner or later, huh? Sooner or later. Ah. Uh, well, that's a good thing. Yep, that's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you've been here long enough. I've been here too long. Too long. Yeah. Yeah, you've been here too long. Time for you to get out of here now. Yeah, I'm trying to get my thing. Yep, your, your time is about up. Yeah, your time is about up. Yep. So how's, how's your day been going so far? Going all right? So far, so good. So good? Well, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. So how was lunch? Lunch was pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah, I went to church today and said a prayer for everybody. Good, good. Yeah. Hope you said one for me. Oh, I got you in there. You in there. They told me that they told me whenever I got free time, come check on you. Make sure you're all right. Come say hi to you. All right. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a new ministry we got going on here at the hospital. All right, that's good. Yeah, check, check on the brothers and the sisters. Yes, sir. Check on them. Yeah, it's a hot one out there today. I haven't been out, so I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's, it's burning up out there. Yeah. Yeah, I've been in church from 6 o'clock this morning. 6 o'clock? Yeah, I had three services. Goodness great. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm churched out for now. I had enough now. Yeah, I'm churched out now. I had enough. Yep, I've been in there since 6 o'clock to 6.30 this morning. I've been to I've been to um, Bethel A and E on on six and Walnut. Between six and seven, I've been to Canaan Baptist Church. Pastor Bullock, I just left there. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. Getting that word in me, brother. Trying to try to keep me straight. Yeah, they working on me. Good. Yeah. Yeah, they working on the boy. Trying to keep the boy right. Yep. Well, it's good to know that you hanging in there, that you're doing pretty good. I'm doing it very well. You're doing the best you can do with what you're working with, huh? You got, you got that right. Yeah, you're going to be all right when you get home. And if you need a ride home, let me know. I'm around, buddy. I'm around. I'm around. Hey, 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 go on. I won't hold you up, okay? One, one second. All right, yeah, he was talking to my mom. All right, mom, I'll talk to you later. I talk, I seen Ernest Chain, I'll tell you about it. Bye okay. right, bye. Yeah, that, that was my mother.
Yeah, me being a boy, I, I just thought I could do what I wanted to do. Yeah. But it didn't work like that. Betty Mitchell. Yeah. That's my eye. That's your eye? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just left there. Two, two minutes ago. We had long services that they um Pastor Bullock's son came from Ohio and they Which got, one with the Ohio, Ben? Ben, yeah. And, wow. they, and they, they 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 uh his they christened his baby. Oh. His what his girlfriend came, wife girlfriend, wife, whatever. Uh -huh. And they christened the baby today. Oh wow. So they had a lot of family members yeah. here from, from Ohio. That was packed. Oh yeah, it was oh, packed. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had a lovely service. We didn't get out of there at about 2 o'clock. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. a long way. And it started at 11. It started at 11. Oh, we had it going on today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go on one. Yeah, we had it going on. Wow, yeah. You ever go there? I've been there before. My mom and my aunt have gotten married there. Uh, so I've been there before. What church do you go to? Um, Ezon Fair over Southbridge. Oh, I love your pastor. Yeah. Pastor Perry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy, that man's a firecracker. <laughs> yeah. I love that man. That man's smart. Yeah. Yeah, I, I run an organization. I, I brought my men in there when I was strong. Mm -hmm. And when I left out there, he told them to write a check for me for five hundred dollars. They gave me a check for five hundred dollars. Wow. I used to bring like when I run my reentry program, about ten of us. And he said, "Get that man, get, write that man a check." And they wrote me a check for five hundred dollars. Wow, good man. that's good. Yeah, he's a good guy. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's the person. You need anything? Huh? You need anything? No, ma'am. I'll pick it. Yeah. <laughs> no, we call him Mr. Fence. Mr. Perfect. You see, if you're this you don't ask for that. That's right. <laughs> a lot of good-looking women in there. Yeah, a lot of good people in there. 